Morning, everyone. I'm having a little trouble breathing. So I just finished my workouts, and uh, this morning I did P90X3 Accelerator, which is a great workout. I think a couple of you have P90X3. I know Cecilia does. And uh, I did um, T25 Core Cardio, which is from the Beta Cycle, which is also a really, really great workout. Um, and kind of had a rough night. I just got over a stomach virus. I actually thought it was over, and then it kind of came back. And uh, my son threw up last night, poor thing. So um, he had a rough night, which in turn, for all you parents, know that means you have a rough night. So I was up early and then um, tried to get some stuff done with posting and all that stuff and decided just to get my workouts in. So um, a lot of people are going through stuff. Some of you have been posting about. I know um, another mom has a sick son and a husband who's sprained his ankle. So um, Sauteria has a new niece, so she's got a lot going on. So a lot of us have things that we're going through. So um, I just want to say, you know, um, I feel for you and I know that we're all going through stuff, but try not to let it get in the way of, you know, your time for yourself and, uh, you know, still concentrating on your own health and your well-being. And a lot of times exercise is really um, a good stress reliever. Um, sometimes it's a little OCD for me and I have to get it in there. Otherwise, I'm very, very stressed out and anxious. And um, it's the one thing that kind of puts things in perspective for me and um, settles my day out and is part of my routine. And if I don't get it in there, I'm um, a little cranky. So I feel bad for my family if I don't get it in. And um, I just wanted to remind everyone that don't feel guilty about, you know, setting half an hour aside for yourself or 45 minutes to get your workout in. And um, another thing is um, I'm reading another book right now. I'm kind of doing this program. It's called The 30 Day Push by Shalene Johnson, who's actually um, a Beachbody trainer. She's really, really phenomenal. Those of you doing Turbo Fire, I know Larissa is doing Turbo Fire and someone else is doing Turbo Fire. Larissa and I can't remember who else. I think Mary, you're going to do Turbo Fire? I can't remember. I'm sorry. But I know Larissa is definitely doing Turbo Fire. Shalene's great. Shalene Johnson. And so she's got this program called the 30-Day Push. So I started doing it. And um, one thing she says and, and recommends in her book, which I was doing yesterday, is, you know, setting out your goals and making them very, very visible to you. Um, so you always have them at the front of your mind. You see them all the time. So I was writing them out for me. And no matter how crazy your goals may be, um, you should always have them in the front of your mind, like at the forefront of your brain. And, you know, don't settle. So, you know, put them on your screensaver on your laptop, put them on the, your, you know, on your smartphone or your iPhone or whatever it may be, or just, you know, on your mirror of your bathroom or on your fridge. And the preface to your goal should be, you know, wouldn't it be crazy cool if, and it doesn't matter what it would be, you know, wouldn't it be crazy cool if, you know, a year from now, whatever you want it to be. And, you know, work towards that. So I set out my goals yesterday and I have them in my laptop and, you know, I'm really working towards those. And, you know, I was thinking, you know, maybe your to do for today should be, you know, just set those goals out no matter how crazy they are. Write them down, put them on your, on, you know, the, your screen of your laptop or, and on your phone. And who cares if anybody sees them and don't let anybody, you know, put you down for having goals because, if they say anything, it's just because, in my opinion, they're just jealous that you have these goals and you're working towards them and they're not brave enough to have goals like you. So don't be afraid to do that. And don't be afraid to put your goals out there and, you know, make it something that you do today. Um, put your goals out there, whether it's a weight loss goal or a financial goal or a career goal or, you know, moving into like a, a house that you've always dreamt of having, you know, make that your goal because 12 months from now, you could have that you know, if you really, really work towards it and, um, something that I'm doing now. So, and every day look at them and maybe they'll change, um, from week to week. Maybe you'll modify them because maybe you'll work and get one of them and you never know what can happen. So today I think you should, uh, really think about what you want your goals to be and don't be afraid to dream big because if you work towards them, I really, really believe that they can happen. And I highly recommend going out and getting the 30 day push. You can actually download the program. It's free. And every day she gives you something to do. And um, they're just like these little 10 minute assignments, but they really make a difference. So 
Have a great day and uh, don't forget to get your workouts in. Don't forget to drink your water. Stick with your nutrition and TGIF. Okay, hope everybody has a wonderful day.